Cedric, Texas, entering Big 12 Conference play at the one and two record. What's yeah. up with that? Uh, well, you know, they just want to give uh, people a chance to get at them. Because oh, okay. Luring them in, and like, lowering the expectations. like the spider and the fly. Max said that there's, they're going to win the Big 12 still. Okay. That's in place. Let's talk about Ole Miss, though, okay? They're up, what they score? Five straight times in the second quarter, mm -hmm. and they take a lead in the halftime, and then fall apart. What happened in the second half? Well, number one, they, they a couple of those possessions, if they had put touchdowns on the board instead of field goals, like at one point they were first and goal at the two-yard line, ended up with a field goal after a couple of false starts. But what happened in the second half? Second half, they didn't adjust to, to uh, Ole Miss's adjustments. That means when Ole Miss came out and changed the game with a couple of twists up front, uh, bringing in the de defensive end on stunts and clogging up the running lanes, that kind of messed, messed with Case McCoy's thought processes, and they weren't able to adjust to that. Another flop, basically, in the first, in the second half. Okay, they're sitting here one and two, starting Big 12 conference play. Of all teams, they're opening with Texas killer K-State. Is that a mental thing when they've lost five straight to Bill Snyder's bunch? I don't think it's a mental thing because because none of these players have played five games in a row against K-State. Now, maybe this coaching staff is a mental thing, mm -hmm. but K-State's not that good this year, but they're good enough to be the Texas team that we've been watching right. over the last couple of weeks. They're going to have to play assignment football, stop that option, and uh, plug in those running lanes, and then maybe, just maybe, with David Ash or Case McCoy, they should have a chance to win this game. And lastly, Max says the Big 12 championship has always been their goal. That's still out there. One of the Texas players even call these preseason games. Can you see any way Texas wins the Big 12 this year? I'm not picking them. I'm not picking them. Do you see any and, way? And the, and the still a line from Jim Moore, a Big 12 championship. Big 12 championship, they may not win another game. Yeah. I mean that's realistic. There's not there's not there's not a game, not a team left on this schedule outside of the University of Kansas that that, that doesn't have the capabilities of beating Texas. They're gonna have to step up and it's now or never. And the key is practice, to quote Alan Oxford. They need lots of practice. We'll see you next week.